Hey you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to Let's Try Clockwork Empires. Currently, we are in the earliest access phase of the game development. It will hit early access on Steam relatively soon, uh, but even then, it won't yet be done. So keep that in mind as we go through here. There's a lot of stuff that is still unfinished and maybe buggy and all that kind of good stuff. Now, what is Clockwork Empires? Well, I would describe it as something like... Banished meets Dwarf Fortress meets Steampunk meets Call of Cthulhu. So obviously not a game that people uh, who watch my channel could possibly be interested in. I mean, that just sounds so boring and unfun. Yeah! So it is sort of a wilderness survival type of game with uh, crazy uh, cult worshippers and weird things like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fiddle for a little bit and uh, take a look at what the game looks like. So again, there's there's plenty of stuff that is not quite done yet, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can. So here we are. We are doing a colonial embarkation in a slightly different sort of uh, world here. We have a sort of a, a, a british land kind of thing over here, but where are we colonizing? I don't know. New Antipodia is where we're going. The bureaucrat's name is going to be Cogs Bronze, apparently. Our biomes are going to be Aspen Forest, Grassland, High Prairie, Conifer Forest. Wildlifes include aurochs and dodos. We're rich in timber and minerals. Rumors of fish people. We'll point out that there is uh, some very nice music in this game as well, but I do have to have it muted on YouTube because, you know, music problems. We're going to start with 14 colonists, 3 soldiers, and we're going to get some sundry supplies as befits an expedition of this size. Alright, let's set a course for adventure, for god and queen and country and all that. I think it's a queen in this game still, maybe it's, maybe it's a king, we'll, we'll find out when we go into it. Uh, there's not really a loading screen here, so it's like you hit the button and it just like seems to freeze, but again, this is earliest access, my friends, we are still far from having a complete product, as it continues to remind us right over here on the screen. But uh, I am very excited for this title. So here we go. Here's where we get dumped in the woods, and we've got a few little colonists over here. We can pan around with the WASD keys, not the arrow keys for some reason. And I don't think there's any sort of mice bound, a mouse bound that lets me just scroll the view. I can right click somewhere to move around. So hopefully we'll get some of that. I can middle mouse button to just rotate in 45 degrees. Uh, is this how I started? I hope so. Um, but there we have it. So we have we have a few colonists. I can click on them. So over here we've got, um, this is Victoria Chain. She's a laborer. She's part of the work crew, Mrs. Golden Cog's Dutiful Bolts. And she's currently idle. I guess that's her nationality. I can zoom to her or to her job. Her traits, she is craven, more likely to be afraid of things. Fishy behavior. This individual has become obsessed with the water, the sea, fish, and all things aquatic. They often contemplate taking long walks directly into the ocean. Hmm, peculiar. Uh, laudanum Fiend. This character places a high priority on finding, acquiring, and consuming laudanum-flavored beverages. So it's a bit of a drug problem, apparently. And people will have memories. Right now, her memory is just being airsick on the entire airship journey to the frontier. So again, that sort of steampunky kind of element. I did hit space deposit. Let's open up someone else. Um, so had a conversation about something strange you heard about lately. Hmm. He's also a communist. What? And he has romantic inclination. And he had to bid sad farewells to his loved ones before leaving the colonies and felt sad recently. Some of these guys will actually be quite uh, eager to, um, they'll be quite happy and excited to have uh, gone somewhere new. Apparently none of my people will have that trait. What is this? Brutish. All right. So, uh, yeah, I did pause the game. We've got some wilderness here. I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. We'll start up some jobs. We did start off the handful of surprise, uh, supplies. I can check my commodities over here to see what I've got. A couple of copper pipes, some planks, more copper plates, iron pipes, two muskets, iron plates, some bread, a steam knight grenade launcher. No mere soldier could fire this beastly weapon. Its firepower is the province of the steam knight. Okay, we'll have to figure out what that is later. We've got some logs, some bricks, three pistols, and some brass cogs. Okay, we can get a full list of all our colonists here, in addition to what jobs they're working. Um, uh, and they do have a couple of roles. Overseers, I believe, can start work crews. And basically, work crews are what actually do jobs. So if we go over here, you can see that we've got Mrs. Steam's well-meaning wheels. So the overseer here is Eugenia Steam, Mrs. Steam, I guess. Oh, is it all like that? It is. Oh, they're all named after the actual leader. Oh, how great is that? And this work crew has a couple of uh, laborers put in there. They currently have no jobs. And we do have a few different jobs that we can turn on or off for different people. Uh, these guys have everything turned on currently, except for hunting, which we will leave off. We might start some hunting jobs later on. If we scroll way down, there we go. We should be able to find our current guards. So we have an NCO, that's what, non-commissioned officer? 
and then a couple extra soldiers put in there we might want to unlock hunting for them at some point but for now it's probably fine to just have them do a regular labor stuff and we can get a list of all queued jobs up over here uh, we've got prestige here our total number of colonists there we can toggle the building views and that basically whether the roofs or the walls are visible we can once we get buildings we'll be able to see that and we can pause and unpause the game the game is currently paused we've got some buildings we can build over here we're going to take a look at that really soon for now i think it might be a good idea to get my colonists to start um maybe foraging around we've got uh, what are these things we've got some black cup fungus these are mushrooms and they can eat them so if i click on here i got a little cogwheel with a menu of options for this the only option is to forge the black cup fungus so i'll do that and it will let me know there's a job if i go ahead and unpause the game someone should momentarily go and grab that in fact they will automatically queue up jobs right nearby that are related so this whole block of areas is being forged uh the other thing i can do is i can box select an area and then here i'll see everything i've got the option of chopping down the tree just clearing the train or foraging i'll say forge we'll grab some more fungus there but also i'll grab it and tell them to chop down trees which will queue up some additional jobs there what is he getting mad about i don't know Felt sad, felt sad. Oh, he's just miserable and upset. We're going to try to have to make some of these people a little bit happier relatively soon. One of the ways to do that is we could uh, start building some buildings. I think I'm going to start off with a carpentry's workshop quite early on because we're going to need to be able to convert these logs that we're chopping down into some planks or some further buildings. We will pop up here. We have to design the building. Uh, it doesn't have to be super big. Um, I don't know like what the optimal size is. If you go too big, it'll, it'll say it needs more, um, more logs. I'll go with like a five by five kind of building over here like that. Click done. It'll bring me to the next step where you've got to place modules for your buildings. Requires at least a door, a workbench and a standing desk. So uh, the work, the standing desk, is the only thing so far that actually requires planks. The rest of it, well, the doors are free, apparently. And the carpentry workbench is just two logs straight up. So I'll go ahead and just put down a door over here. The workbench I will apply. Now I can rotate this with the right mouse button. Um, and you can see the green spot where someone has to stand to work it. So we're going to want to make sure that that's accessible. So I'll do something like that. And apparently we need a standing desk. Maybe I'll put that right next door to that. I do have some optional modules here. Mechanical distributor for axles and mechanical distributor for commodity. Something like that. We may just leave them as off for now. But what's interesting about these is they actually mount to the outside of the building. You can see they automatically sort of stick to the wall there. Um, there's a power saw. That might be handy for building things faster. It will require a little bit of extra stuff. And it's quite large. Now, I can fit it in if I do something like this, but it's pretty bulky. Um, still, you know what? We'll go ahead and put the power saw down. That sounds pretty good. And we can also put down a loading bay door, which presumably makes things easier to get in and out of. I think they'll just use the door. But if we do put this down, it'll look quite cool. So I'll just hit done. Let that finish. It puts the foundation right away. And every time you place a building, the game does pause for a sec. I assume while it's recalculating all the pathfinding available, um, it, it's a little bit disconcerting and I'm hoping they sort of, uh, just fire that off to a separate thread instead to, uh, regenerate the pathfinding graph. I think it's okay if while the pathfinding graph is being regenerated that people might, you know, accidentally walk through the foundation incorrectly, you know, for a tick, like, you know, the wander here and then be like, oh, hold on now I've got to like get out of the building and then do that. I think that it would be that that wouldn't impact the game that would not be a negative thing in any way whatsoever and get rid of that little pause i'm sure that's the sort of thing they'll look into at some point again we're in super early access the other buildings you can build we can get a kitchen a ceramics workshop a refinery a metalworks a lower class home a middle class home an upper class home an arsenal a brewery and a chemist shop currently all that's available at least available to me and available in this build of the game of course there may be more stuff later on we don't know got a notification here that our building was complete the carpentry workshop was completed apparently where did the foundation go I've never seen this happen before. That's quite odd. I wonder if that's going to happen for more buildings. Again, really early build, but I did actually just play a bunch of this, and I did not see this happen. I'm going to go ahead and assign a stockpile as well. I'll put a nice big one over here. Um, hmm, there's a bit of stuff in the way. Maybe something like that. I'll just like it a lot better. You can see, again, that sort of pause while it recalculates the pathfinding. And then my citizens will come and put things away. That is really bizarre. Let's try a different building. Um... Maybe we will, uh, we'll probably start to do the metal thing soon enough. We can see all their, um, their bushels of black fungus cup. Actually, let's get a kitchen going on so we can start cooking some of this stuff up. Oh, we'll have to start farming relatively soon. I'll do a six by six here just to see if that changes things up at all. Uh, we won't put any optional modules in there at all. So we need a small oven. You can see here it does have to be on an outside wall and that's because it'll have a chimney on the outside and it needs a small workbench, basically a kitchen table to work on things. So we'll call that done like that. 
and then see what happens. Can I even click on this workshop? I can still click on the workshop. I can tell them to make planks. So I'll do that. I'll order up maybe like five planks going on here. Hopefully um, there'll, there'll be some ability to set up like repeat tasks or maybe an automated trigger when things get too low, but maybe not. I mean, depending on the complexity of the game, manually ordering up things to be built are not necessarily uh, a bad thing. Right, I'm quite a fan of when I play a Dwarf Fortress, but by the end of it, I'm using uh, the third-party tools to add automatic workflow things to keep various stockpiles um, at certain levels, for example. But on the other hand, when I'm playing Banished, I'm quite happy to turn things on and off. So we'll see exactly how it goes. I actually, whatever the case is, I'm pretty sure I'm going to kind of love this game. We'll see how it goes. I'll uh, box select an area. We're going to go ahead and tell them to um, chop down some more trees. You can also tell them to a nature sa or nurture saplings. Um, that's going to be like an ongoing kind of job to help the sapling grow a little bit faster, presumably. There we go. This building actually got the roof and everything like that. So again, I can toggle the view here and get different versions of things. So th that, again, never seen it glitch out before. Kind of weirded out, but that's okay. So in the kitchen, I can queue up certain things to be constructed. We know we've got uh, those mushrooms, so I can actually go... Uh, no, that's caviar. There is one that's mushroom. Ah, oh, pickled fungus. There you go. Let's uh, let's order up some pickled the fungus, which only requires buckets of uh, the fungus to create. So presumably that will just improve the quality of the food and make people like things a little bit better. They will eat that. Actually, one of the very scary things, the scariest things I saw is at some point, uh, I one of my people had to be, I can't remember if I had to put them down or if they got attacked by a fish person and died. But whatever it is, someone came by and butchered my person. And what was left before are, were, were hunks of long pork. Long pork is the, uh, the term that is used to refer to human meat because apparently we taste like pork, only we're taller. Scary! Um, yeah, that's the sort of twisted game that's going on here. As these people get bored and start having more and more conversations, there's going to be more and more people that uh, reveal themselves to perhaps be somewhat dark cultists. And if you leave them alone too long, well, there may be some things that man was not meant to know that they will start to um, summon. So it looks like we've got some coal over here. It seems like a pretty good idea to mine some of these bad boys up. What do we have here? Rhydolite. Can be mined and used for masonry. Well, we may as well mine this chunk as well. I'm wondering if we have any iron anywhere. Um, not within view, but what we can do is we can go to commands and say explore and just sort of drop down a few of these waypoints here, and someone will eventually wander over there and reveal things. We've also got an immigration has come in. All right, we can tell them to go away. We don't want any more mouths to feed. We would lose prestige to do that. We can re request a skilled overseer. Having an overseer would give me uh, more work crews, basically. Or I can take three of anyone you've got. I Probably that'll just be generic laborers. We'll actually gain prestige for doing that. Right now, we don't have any idle people that need an overseer, so I'll just take three of anyone they've got. Right now, they are going to go and become idle. What I can do is I can manually assign them to a work group. Or if I did get another, um, another, uh, what would you call it? Um... Overseer, then I could start a new crew. Um, let's see, do the soldiers actually have special traits? Like, what makes them soldiers? Professionalism. Can I just make anyone a soldier? Let's find out. Tilly, I'm going to see if I can make you into a soldier. I don't actually know if that's true. And then I'll just assign these guys over here. They'll, they'll pick up on the mining jobs, but maybe next time that comes up, we'll ask for an overseer so we can have a few more work crews and uh, work multiple jobs simultaneously. Because you can see the laborers will work together to do various things, uh, but more crews means a little bit more variety and stuff. What are you like being cranky about, buddy? Cyril Will. Enjoy the journey to tr Frontier. See, he liked it. Conversation about the hardships of the lower class a couple of times and something strange. Something strange in the neighborhood. Okay, we should probably get some houses up feel bad for my people here. Um, now, one thing I don't know is if houses are individual or not. I seem to be able to make some pretty large bunk houses, and I think that's what I'm going to do here again. Especially, Oh, there's a little unbuildable spot. Hang on. Cancel. Let's try that again. Maybe this area over here would be better. Yeah. Something like this. We'll make a big bunk house. So we'll put a door on like both sides, like that and like that, and then we need some cots. Uh, which we can rotate around. Yes, no? There we go. Something like that. And uh, I don't think you can hold shift to put a bunch of them down at the same time, which is a little bit annoying. But um, right, we'll put it down a series of cots in here. I think we could fit one more. Yep. Oops. I don't want that. 
and right click to cancel. There we go. And yeah, we will go ahead and put down a table. Now you can also put chair down and I'm not sure like, would it be good to put chairs everywhere? I'm not sure if you need to leave all the green bits open. So I'm going to do something like that. Tell you what, we'll set up a, a pair of tables next to each other and hopefully they will work. Again, really close, really new to this game, especially since it's so early access. I will be watching it a lot as uh, time goes on, but for now, still a lot of mystery to me. I'm going to put one cabinet down and um, yeah, we'll put down some lower, lower class paintings and another one and uh, royal wall plaque. Maybe some exterior lamps will look nice. Two different styles? No. Ooh, hold on. Cancel that. Put it right next to the door. Done. I can also, uh, and you can see again that little slight pause. I can go to the kitchen. I can say I can re renovate this kitchen here if I want to say go after the fact. Oh, I don't have a scroll bar. Look, I can't scroll down to the lights. Okay, well, there's a lamp. Little UI things every now and again. There we go. So we'll add that in there just to make things pretty. Uh, we finished constructing our planks. We may as well queue up a few more. And um, check our commodities. How many logs we have? Oh, we have tons of logs. Good, 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 good. We're almost done grabbing that coal. We'll definitely want to get a metalworks going on for uh, smelting and whatnot. Where is that? Refinery. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, let's put it uh, maybe behind the kitchen over here. Sort of a six by six. Drop a door, smelting crucible. We'll put it in the back here. Industrial kiln, also in the back, and then a standing desk. Rotate. There we go, like so, and done. There we go. So then we can start uh, smelting any metal we have in the find. So we did get, we got sulfur. Really? So we can start making gunpowder by chemist or arsenal. Nice. And you can see my exploration job went through. What is this over here? That is clay. So for our um, uh, our ceramics, I think. Hematite, which is good for iron. Okay, well, there we go. Let's mine the hematite and mine a little bit of clay. So we've got that. We might set down some more uh, um, exploration jobs. Ooh, I think these are eggs. Exotic caviar clutch. Mmm, caviar. Yeah, well, we may as well go and grab all that stuff. I'm sure that, you know, doesn't represent eggs that belong to anyone who might care about them, for example. Could, what could possibly go wrong? All right, we're still nurturing that, which is good. Uh, we still have some wood, although we have a few idle people. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give a few more chop down commands, maybe over here as well. Is this building complete? Nice. Right here, which means I can start to queue up the jobs right away. Um, so let's smelt some iron ore. I can tell it to make charcoal from wood, but we've got coal, so we should be okay. So go ahead and smelt down uh, some of my iron ore here. Uh, jobs will stay in the queue, even if you don't have enough goods. And what you can also do, oh, oh we are on attack. Um, hostile fish person doesn't zoom, which is the only thing. Where is the hostile fish person? Oh, right over here. Ah, oh, run, run. Who is this? Lenora Golden Cog, run. No, escape. Where's my army? The army should auto respond. Maybe not. Tell them to rally over here. Come on, army. Steam Knight patrol. So some things are still under development. Oh my god, she was killed. No. Well. That is kind of sucky. Oh, sure. Now they come. Yeah, kill that guy. There we go. We'll remove the rally point, but there we go. It will aggro over there. Um, we had better, uh, maybe it's time for us to build a graveyard. Anyway, we'll build it right next to the dorm. It's a communal resting place for everyone, alive or dead. Died due to a vicious pummeling. Oh, that is, that is really unfortunate. Oh, look at this. They're talking about crazy stuff. Something strange. Oh, 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 oh. Cult activity. Some of your colonists have developed an interest in forbidden knowledge. Probably over here. She's patriotic. Yeah, look at them. They're all talking about that. Now, anytime I want, I could go ahead and mark for frontier justice. I'll get someone killed. Someone else has become interested in cult activities. You know, I'm sure this won't cause any problem whatsoever. So we're just going to let them do their thing. I mean, I can't possibly see any uh, any downside to cults. You know, it'll keep people entertained. It's good for the kids. I think so. All right. So a little bit more uh, exploration jobs. I probably have a few too many queued up, but that's going to be just fine and peachy. 
Got a big question mark here. Does someone have no job? Ah, indeed. Victoria Chain. You can join the uh, Mrs. Tumbrils Well-Meaning Wrenches over that way. So hopefully there'll be more alerts for these types of things when someone doesn't have a job. I'm wondering if Lenora Goldencog was a uh, an overseer, in which case it's really bad that she dies. Definitely have to uh, order another overseer as soon as soon um, as soon as we get another group of migrants going on. Oh, farming! There we go. Let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, set up some nice big... Oh, there's another fish person over there. Hang on. Military, go rally over there. Meanwhile, uh, zone of construction. We want farms. I'm going to have to enable hunting soon. Oh, yeah, and there's max size to the farms. I forgot about that. No, the one down to the side I had, it's, it's kind of hard for me to know for sure that I've lined things up correctly. Okay, that looks okay. And so we've got a few different seeds that we can plant. I'm going to go ahead and make, a, say, um, opium poppy. We'll save that for later. We'll go with wheat so we can start bread baking and uh, maybe cabbage. And you know what? Let's go ahead and, and get all the farms set up over here. Uh, another one there. And another one there. Oh, it's not quite symmetrical because that, that'll be the uh, the poppy one. Uh, we'll make pumpkins, and here will be opium poppies. Got to keep the people happy. I think you use it to make uh, laudanum uh, once we get our chemist going on. What do we got? More immigration. Great. Let's get a skilled overseer and see what that does. Did she, he or she automatically go and make a new... Yeah. Mrs. Woodson's. So this person is still not a soldier, so I guess we'll go ahead and drop her down there. I don't know how you make soldiers. Or maybe there was a lack of equipment. That could be. But now Mrs. Woodson's welcoming presses will actually have a laborer as well. And that should theoretically work a bit better. I can, um, is this the rally point? Yeah, let's just remove that so they can do whatever they want. The rest are all exploration jobs, which we can keep. What is this one here? Mm. That's, I think, an exploration job, which we can cancel as well. No need for that anymore. There we go. People are now sleeping in bed. So again, um, I don't think, I mean, it says unclaimed building. I think sometimes people can claim a workshop or something like by when it's an actual work spot, but I don't think that the bedrooms actually get claimed. So anyone can go and sleep there. Uh, we will eventually have to put up maybe a middle-class building. I, I would suspect my overseers might be a little bit more middle-class than lower class, um, but that'll be fine. So look at this. We got happy people. Oh no, hostile fish person again. And again, it doesn't quite zoom to that. Oh, it's happening over here. Military. Military, come. See, and they do work. They do do other things. And one of the things I could do is disable uh, the military from doing various other jobs that might be keeping them busy. And that might be a good idea. For example, I could disable hauling jobs at the very least. So they don't busy themselves with that. Oh, cool. We killed it. And I think our person survived. I'll hail the formation. Yeah, the new, uh, the work, new work group. Excellent. Fantastic. Let's cancel all this. Um, what we could do to keep the, um, the soldiers occupied, though, is we could enable hunting job. They're already armed and everything, so I think that'll be just fine. Is this the rally? We'll remove that. And there we go. So now, they will shoot dodos and orcs, orocs, which should get butchered automatically. And indeed, you can see someone coming over there and start to butcher things. Now, if we're going to do all that, and like, it is like a, just a massacre, a slaughter of creatures. Um, we better set up a kitchen. We don't have one yet, do we? We have a workshop. Right, the smelter. And, no, wait. Yeah, we do have a kitchen. Good. So what we can do is we can cook steaks. Those are Oroch steaks. And we can cook dodos, like so. Uh, I don't know if we have any long pork. If we do, we'll, we'll cook it. And fish persons. I don't know if we were butchering them, but we'll give it a try. What is this? Starvation. Oh, no, we are starving. Well, that's double plus on good. Let's go ahead and uh, forge a little bit more. Keep people busy with that. Um, forge there. And over here. Now, we did just go ahead and butcher some people, so that'll be okay. All right. Looks like we actually buried someone rather than chopping them up for long pork. Ooh, cultist. Cultist talk. Has been con had a conversation about secrets of forbidden knowledge lately. It does have a little bio for everyone, which I like. Uh, Meryl Steel Patterlock was forced to join the colonies to escape the affectation of the Poet Laureate. He worships at the altar of the Celestial Order. He has pledged allegiance to the Queen. He was born in the 35th year of the reign of the Queen. Meryl Steel Patterlock has a hungry look in the eyes, though appears capable otherwise. Spiritually inclined. Pious individual is pleased to follow in the devotional worship of the Holy Cog or anyone else who might be in town. Jack of all trades. Interested in exotic wilderness. Come visit Exotic Wilderness, and then shoot it. What do we need for this? Oh, we need more planks. 
uh, at this mystery workshop. Let's go and queue a whole bunch of those up. Anyway, just, like, make me unlimited planks almost. There we go. We probably actually don't have enough wood right now. No, we've got some. We're foraging over here. Yeah, what does our food situation look like? Some caviar, some fungus, and we probably need to uh, keep cooking, actually. We've got a fair amount of stuff queued up. Oh, it's the meat. Uh, we can tin the caviar, and we can make more pickled fungus. And so you'll see if you just watch the queue, it will automatically cycle. If it doesn't have something, it'll just jump to the next thing um, and keep working from there. I don't know if we have any uh, lingonberries or whatever. Bread, I don't know if we have any wheat yet, but... Or stew, or cabbage stew, or pumpkin stew. Just queue it all up, and then hopefully whenever we get some, it'll it'll happen. Uh, it's kind of cool. We can uh, forge the auroch bones. I don't know what you get out of the bones. And we've got some gibbs. That we can, uh, I guess we can clear that up and clean it. For whatever that's worth. Oh, what's this? Supply drop! Yeah! Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and ask for some food. There we go. Just appeared here. What is it? Bushels of sausages! Now, if I had a bushel of mashed potatoes, nice. Provides food value of 600. Oh, I didn't realize different things had different food values. Let's see here. The uh, raw auroch steaks are worth 150, which isn't that much. Hopefully, if we cook it up, it'll be a lot better. And I might have too many jobs for my uh, citizens right now, especially with all the farming and everything queued up over here. And my farmer's a little bit more idle. On the other hand, they are hunting now, so hopefully they'll uh, bring home the bacon. What do we have here? Hematite notes, that's more iron. Interesting, it's all been iron so far. My last map had a bunch of gold and a bunch of um, copper deposits of some type. Is it malachite? I don't remember. I'll probably stop queuing up too many jobs here. They're talking about uh, monarchy. Which is good. Saw a dead body recently. Conversation about the daily grind. Conversation about the monarchy. Hopefully good. It better be good. Uh, I've gone ahead and demonstrated all the zones. Yeah, we've got a few more buildings, but I don't think I'm going to rush them out because I just don't really have the things to work for. Oh yeah, there's the dynamics where we can uh, plop down some roads. I don't know if they, uh, they improve pathfinding. I assume they do. And they also uh, seem to uh, be free right now. No materials required and build instantly. I don't know if it's just for looks or if it uh, actually has an effect on anything. It's kind of hard to lay them down sometimes. Or maybe every now and again there's a tile you can't actually work on. <gasps> Did they drop whiskey for us too? Nice. Part of the airdrop was a whiskey. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And apparently there's another hostile fish person down here. Go ahead and set a rally point in this general direction. There we go. Then we can clear the rally now that they've engaged. I think they do, like... Um, respond on their own, but it does take them a while, and I'm not entirely sure. No, oh, we've got some more cult activity happening, just out of view. Look at that. Who is this? Oh, that's Merle again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Merle, you might be a problem. That's nah, fine. We'll let the evil cult fester. I'm sure it'll be fine. Archibald, starving, but they, they have food now, so they're gonna be okay. Looks like uh, we can do some more foraging over here. And they will sort of automatically explore whenever they get to the edge of the map. So if you keep sort of queuing up things by the edge of the map, you'll ultimately be okay. You'll ultimately just reveal more stuff. And we can uh, forage over here as well. And that should keep giving us lots more food. Um, <laughs> One thing that is also missing so far in the game is there's no sort of fast forward option when there's downtime. Immigration! Um, I did get the extra overseer, so you know what? Just give me three more workers of any kind. It's going to be okay. And it looks like they automatically dumped in, jumped into a work crew. Yeah. Uh, oh, they're all skilled guards. Very nice. Okay. I am, I'm more than happy to take that. Get a bit more of an armory. I'm all right with it. And again, right now the army is going to be spending most of the time relatively idle, unless it finds something to hunt. Although it looks like we killed most of the game that happened to be around here at this point. So we could get them to assist with things, but I don't know, I won't worry too much about it. Looks like we're still waiting on some planks, which are being worked on uh, here. Yeah, and they are being constructed. Excellent. Got some smelt iron ore jobs. You can also make uh, steel ingots as well. Um, upgrade your iron to steel. So this is just where you refine it, where you actually make the goods... Um, would be maybe something like a metalworks. 
Uh, let's go and put that near the stockpile, maybe over here. Made it a little bit big, but that's okay. Go and drop a door in there, a smithing forge. Oh, we can't put it here because there's sort of a dead spot. Uh, we'll put it right there. And another standing desk. We'll rotate around and kind of tuck into the corner right over there. I feel like I'll leave the optional stuff off. And a little bit of a pause while it pathfinds. At least I assume that's what's going on when you plop down a building. There's a day-night cycle you may have noticed down here. Um, I, I especially recording a video, I'm not pretty good at... I'm not very good at reading the logs, but uh, there you have it. So hopefully come, someone will come build that. Check our commodities. How many planks do we actually have? Oh, we have lot, lots of planks kicking around. Extra hammers and guns and things. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing perfectly well. We can clear grass. I'm not sure what the advantage of clearing grass is. What are you cranky about? Daily grind, unpleasant journey. Oh, you just arrived. That's why you're still cranky. Uh, we might need to put down some more beds over here. Let's go ahead and do a, a renovation. Um, as we get more and more people here, it's going to be... Oops, cancel. Open it there instead. No. Cancel. Did it actually cancel? Try this again. Nope. I... Well, all right then. I guess we're going to leave it there. And there. And there. Remember, this is an earliest access. Not even early access. This is why I always say, don't buy unfinished games. Don't pre-order things. Don't do the early access. Unless you're really, really, really sure that you're okay with having a game that may end up like completely exploding in your face. But, you know, you're, you're, you're feeling that it's important to support a developer uh, before they can finish a game. Right, and which was something like a big title, like a AAA thing, I would not endorse pre-ordering. For somewhat more indie things, sometimes it becomes really important to do the early access so that the programmers can still sort of eat, even though the finished product is not yet uh, done. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get my soldiers over there. Run, run, people, run. Or fight, you know, whichever. I don't know if my military is getting over there. There we go. Someone's starting to respond. Oh, and here too. Bam! Excellent. All right, where's my... Uh, remove that rally point. I'm actually going to go to my, um, my soldiers, and I'm going to turn on hauling again for them. Because there's a lot of hauling to do, and I think it'll be good if we've got a few more people just going at it. Because there's a bunch of jobs that are sitting around kind of sort of incomplete over here. Um, so they're working there, they're working there, they're working there. Everyone's working. Fantastic. So I'm thinking the overseer works the desk. And then your other people, the other laborers in a work crew go and work the other devices. Um, we're still waiting for the other thing to be constructed. Still waiting for these things to be constructed as well. We've got a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs set. We're still doing that. We've actually got some wood cutting jobs down, but I'm going to go ahead and queue up a couple more just to make sure we continue to have a steady supply of logs. Um, it might actually be worthwhile. If this room were bigger, why are you dancing? Um, if this room were bigger, it probably would have put like two benches or two power saws or something in there. Uh, presumably, they'd be able to do a little bit more, more cult activity happening. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And killing more arcs. I don't know where they came from. What are you talking about? It's a whispering. <gasps> the necessity of, necessity of committing the act of murder. Look at them. Just keep talking about that. They're like, no, no, murder, murder is the thing that has to happen. What are you, you're morbid. S morbid deception drives them to seek out death and decay. Normal people can find them hard to relate to. Also organized. So basically he's like Dexter. An organized, morbid person who wants to talk about committing murder. Awesome. Good stuff. <laughs> the fact that there's no floor here. It looks, it's just mirrors. It keep looking like she's dancing. Admire fine machinery. Just very happy about that. Okay, good. Well. I'm happy you admire it. That makes me happy too. More happy people over here. I wonder if there's actually going to be a murder at some point. Kitchen assignment completed. Uh, so I don't know which one. And there's a bunch of jobs that simply can't be uh, can't be worked on because we don't have the stuff. But I may as well leave it in the queue regardless. I could always just keep checking commodities right now and see if we have a pile of anything. We could start working on more um, firearms and stuff. We would need a... Um, well, an arsenal and a chemist workshop. I don't know if you need both. An arsenal may be enough. Oh, I would make a relatively large one. And drop down a door over here. Another smithing forge and a workbench. Bam. 
Oh, we haven't even finished the other building yet, so maybe I'm, I'm rushing a little too much. It is pretty typical for me to queue up way too many jobs. Let's go ahead and uh, cancel the cooking and see if they uh, will unclaim. Because Mr. Iron Chains has claimed this. But if we go ahead and we unclaim this. I queued up a lot of stuff. Apparently. I think that's actually the queue. I noticed earlier there was a bit of a graphic glitch on some of these queues. They don't update correctly when you cancel a job. Pretty standard and easy thing to have happen. Yeah, it's still claimed by someone. I could deactivate it. I don't think that button works. There's a few buttons that don't do anything. Because yeah, it would be nice to like get some of these work crews freed up. But I guess even though it's claimed by someone, they will do something else in the meantime, so that's okay. All right, we may have actually cleared up some work over there, so that's all right. Go ahead and cancel the uh, smelt ore job as well. It'll be interesting to see if this overseer key, uh, sticks around. Still want to make planks, although no one's working it. Oh, she's going to go and do farming now that she doesn't actually... So the overseer sticks around because there's something in the queue... And then she keeps checking to see, like, do we have the materials? No? All right. Well, I won't use any of my uh, laborers, but still. Supply drop. Uh, that would be nice. I, I think I'm going to be good on food now. Um, let's just get a bunch of materials. I got some cogs, some copper, some iron. Yeah, I think that's probably a better idea right now. And we still need to get more and more warm bodies. We probably need another overseer, actually, at some point. But for now, that'll keep going. I was hoping we'd be able to see a murder, but... Oh, immigration. Um... I'll, I'll take three of anyone we've got. I suspect... Oh, I don't know. We've got one idle person. And that's it. Maybe a, a couple of them went into some of the other jobs. One idle person is okay. And then next time we can get another overseer and they can have a small little work crew. Everyone's staying very nice and busy. If I stop queuing up too many things, it'll be better. What is this? Was this an exploration job probably that I dropped down? And here too, you can just drop those. No one ever got around to actually doing the exploration jobs. The areas were just more or less revealed because of just other random stuff that came up. I do like the fact that you can just box select an area and then choose one of the things that's appropriate. You'd have to do a few box selections if you want to do like, you know, both chop down trees and harvest nodes. Um, but that's fine. The interface, I think that interface works. I find the font is a little small and a little hard to read. Probably be even worse on YouTube. Um, although I am going at 1080p resolution here, so if you were playing at like 720p on the same size monitor, then the font would be quite a bit bigger and easier to read, but it'd be nice if that'd be a little bit adjustable. And it may be at some point, they may change fonts completely. Those are the sort of things that'll probably get changed about 15 times, um, before the game is released. There we go, we got someone else being chased over here. So if I don't do anything, will the, um, uh, will the military respond? Mm, looks like right now it's no, they're just going to keep working other jobs. Oh, all the clay got picked up. Um, nope, and they died. Work party abandoned and a tragic death. Boo! Oh, wow. Was it ever abandoned? Yeah, we need another overseer. Something fierce. Why is it always the, the overseers that get targeted? We'll let them be. these guys be idle, but we'll definitely have to uh, respond with the military in the future. Oh, look at them just eating the raw meat. Raw Oryx steaks. So yeah, just like, cook those bad boys up. We won't queue up any more things. We'll just do that. Yeah, we had another death. And again, that was that one time where someone cut up one of my bodies and gave me long pork. But I don't know under what circumstance that happened. I don't know the why of it. I only know that it did happen and I was freaking amazed. Looks like there's some grass growing inside the building here. So I want to really take care of that. And we'll go ahead and have a nap. Mm -hmm. We could build a, a nicer, higher-end um, uh, housing complex as well. But I think for now it'll be okay. Day number seven, 25 people. I think we might get migrants every day, I'm not sure. Ooh, you're hungry. Express hunger. Well, we do have food. A raw steak. 
Not sure if the cooking is working. Actually, we don't have as much food as I might have imagined. Um, forage. Forage. Okay. That should be a relatively decent amount of food. Cancel that exploration. Maybe I need to set up more farms. Or maybe just like more farms that aren't poppies, for example. Sounds like some people are miserable. There's a lot of whining sounds. Yeah, hungry over here. It looks like the people who aren't in a work crew. Let me pause a sec. There was a bit of a... Characters not assigned to a work crew will not work. But it does look like they are carrying goods. Oh, murder? Hmm. I like murder. Let, let's murder. Let's do more of that. Oh, God. Someone's going to get ganked. Oh, there we go. We got the art going on. Very nice. Um, looks like, like, criminal posters. Is she kissing him? What? What's wrong with these people? Forge. Under the building. How's our... We've got three planks, and we don't actually have a whole lot of logs left. We do have a few jobs to cut things down. Hopefully that'll happen at some point. Certainly foraging is an important thing. And yeah, when we busted up all the uh, the clay and whatnot, that's all getting picked up and brought in, so that's going to slow things down. Really do need another overseer, though, for all our idle people. I could just assign them to something. Um, but I'd rather just wait for there to be an overseer and see if it correctly forms a uh, a big work party. Oh, talking about something strange. And then she's gotten mad. Unpleasant journey to frontier. Conversation with the hardships of the lower class. Really, that's it. Inordinate fondness for beetles. There's a great love of beetles. Collecting beetles, categorizing beetles, making little beetle hats, etc. Mm, Laudanum fiend. Maddened intellectual. This individual's scholarly hobbies drive their every action and have led to a number of unhealthy appetites and interest in the more illuminating and non-Euclidean things in life. Oh good, she's a Cthulhu worshipper. This orc steak is never getting cooked. Hmm, I wonder why that is. I don't know. Earliest access, my friends. Anyway, I think we may uh, wrap this up. This video has gone a little bit longer than I'd hoped, and my people are probably all about to start starving to death. As fun as that is, uh, we will be revisiting this game, that's for sure, especially once it hits early access on Steam and hopefully gets an update or two. Uh, we will revisit this game as it progresses through the uh, the early access stages um, and uh, starts to get a little bit more polish. I mean, it's got like a placeholder for the minimap. There's no actual minimap. If you hit menu, it's like an array of options. No, there's no options. There's just one button to quit to the main menu. Like I can't, you know, I can't change my in-game sound from within the game, things like that. And again, um, there's a lot of buttons in the game that simply don't do anything yet. So obviously big plans for this game. I am very, very excited. Definitely keep an eye on this bad boy. But again, you know, if be aware, if you do spend money on this, it ain't done yet. So uh, go in with a degree of caution. Uh, and otherwise, just keep an eye out for it. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.